first episode. And we are seeing a dead body. Is rolling. What a way to come back from power. Just what it is that Stephen Arts is hiding under his sleeves. That at the mentioning of ghost, someone needs to be quiet. Someone needs to stop talking. Is it that they are trying to protect something that we are not aware of? Or they are just trying to protect the image of the Democrats? Okay, we'll find out soon in this review. My name is Nino. Welcome to my channel. If today is your first time watching this, uh, kindly subscribe. Leave your comments below. I'm going to talk about what happened in this first episode of Power Book 2. Uh, it started on a very cool note where we had a recap of Tariq's life. How Tariq transitioned from being a boy to a young man now. And how his story was evolving as a kid to where he got to a point where he shot his father. I like the new energy, especially in the montage. I know most of you have seen a lot of changes. The montage also suggests that there's going to be a lot of prosecutions. We're going to watch more of going to court. We're going to see a lot of schools. And definitely we are going to see some deaths coming in. Just that unfortunately the first person to die was real. <laughs> and also we're going to see more of drug dealing and stuff. So it's like, well, now there are some things that I really don't understand or I really don't get when I watch this first episode. And I'm sure most of you feel the same way. So we are going to have to talk about them and let's see whether we can be ahead of these people and try to understand because I hate the suspense and I hate the secrecy of uh, certain things that go on in power. It looks like Terry has a lot to deal with in this power book too. He has the likes of his grandma, he has the likes of his mother's freedom, he has to deal with Mitted Man who is uh, Davis McLean, and he has a lot of things. I think the guy is really, really packed with a lot of things to deal with. And I don't know if Tariq is really going to be able to handle everything that is going to surround him. He may have sacks to deal with. Luckily, he's having sacks in his pocket, considering the incident that happened at Thrut. So he's having sacks in his pocket for now. The pressure Tariq is facing right now, I think is a bit young to go through all this because I can see the stress that is going to come up with Tariq. He trying to have the chemical studies to finish his education as early as possible is something he has to deal with and he has a lot of protagonists and antagonists to deal with now this man steven Ott, i really 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 don't trust this man and i'll tell you the reason why i don't trust this man i'll give you a couple of scenarios why i think this man was placed in power for a purpose because if you study the man's life and if you study certain movies he featured in you realize that this guy is in for mischief i'll come to that someone needs ghost secrets to remain secret my question is he's dead as we all assume or as we are all understanding ghost is dead why would someone want his secrets to remain secret now this is what I can think of, I don't know about you, is either the Democrats want his secret to remain secret so that it won't haunt them, or there is something around ghosts that we still don't know about. There hasn't been any burial for ghosts. A lot of people died in power, and we see the hell, uh, what's the name, burial service and all those things for, the, for those people, like Angela, for instance, there was a burial service for her. Ghost daughter like this, there was a memorial service for her. So it is just right for us to have at least some kind of memorial service to acknowledge the fact that, okay, the man is dead. But that has been put under the pillow. For what reason? I don't know. This is the reason why I still have the feeling that Ghost is really not dead and there is something up. I like the way they, 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 they are introducing the new characters into this whole Power Book 2. And I like how they introduce Method Man, who is McLean. He has been introduced in a way that 
you don't even need anything else about the guy to know who he is or what he does or how he go about his job. He's someone who doesn't need the truth to win a case. And he's someone who is perfect for Tasha. Because one, Tasha doesn't want to speak the truth. And as it stands now, she has to speak the truth to be able to win her case. And once you can speak the truth, you are going to lose your case, which means when she's going back to jail. The question is, is Tasha going to get out of trouble? Because it looks as if someone is really trying to pin Tasha where she is. It's like, I, I, I get this feeling like it's as if Ghost was alive. I don't know if I'm the only one who feel that way. At a point, I felt like, okay, Ghost is still in this movie. Like, the guy is still in this movie, just that we can't see him. Because it's like, one step ahead, there is someone trying to push you back. With Tasha's case, she got a deal and she was so close of getting bail. And it's like, boom. There is no way you are having bail. So it, it, it's more or less feel as if Ghost is saying, hey, Tasha, stay in jail. Let Terry go to school. Let it be the man I want him to be. So it's like, you see, Tasha is trying hard to come out. But it's like there's some kind of force that is pushing her back to jail. About Stephen Art. This guy, I don't trust him. And I encourage you not to trust him because he will lead you and mislead you and leave you alone okay why am i saying this if you all remember prison break the last season season five i think that's season five this same guy was jacob and he was presiding and from the beginning of that season no one knew that he was actually presiding even sarah never knew that this man was the one who sent my husband away who was scofield until getting to the end before we realized that Jacob, who is this same Stephen Ott in power, was beside him. Now, if you watch Prison Break the Season 5 very carefully, you see this guy play so innocent, behave as if nothing is wrong. You see, like, the way they characterize this guy is so unique that then when I saw him in this power, I realized, no, something is up. Because looking at his persona in Prison Break, and looking at where they put him or where they position him in power book two i feel like this guy is up to a mischief so hell no i don't trust this guy saving art i don't trust him at all because it looks like he's getting in control just as i perceive him to be he's always in control and the difference between his character and power and the character in prison break is prison break he acted all innocent all secrets he went through a lot you will not even know that this guy was behind everything but his character in power book 2 he has come like he's been portrayed that like okay he has something to do with democrats again he's being portrayed as if he is in charge like he is controlling affairs but there is someone more powerful who is behind that he reports to so that's how I see this Stephen Art. You see how he moved to SARS in court and all those things, you realize that, okay, the guy has some kind of power. So this Stephen Art, I really, really still need to take my time to study him, to understand what he's up to, because I think throughout his acting career, he, he, he likes to play mischief, likes to behave like he's not something that he is, and he likes to just be precise, straight to the point kind of serious guy who likes to just control things without your knowledge you understand so we need to watch out for this guy this particular thing out i like the fact that they introduce a little bit more details about sax now we know his family we know his brother we know his father like we we get to understand okay okay sax is now having a family i think it's all good but I think Sax is going to get into more trouble than we think because of the fact that Therese has something on him and the way he's moving towards this James St. Patrick issue is going to land him in trouble because he's trying to ask too many questions and I know he's doing all those things to protect him so he like he really wants to get information to see okay how far is this thing going has anyone mentioned my name is 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 is, is the investigation gearing towards me I think Sax is just trying to be more focused on himself try to be sure that okay 
nothing is going to hit me anytime soon because he just landed himself a new position because he moved to Tameka and based on their conversation she realized that okay he was there so you realize that she sucked him out of her room and if he continues to go that way this new attorney the way she's too fast she's moving fast trying to fetch out information if sacks doesn't take time they are going to get him and it will be a very big trouble for him because i know very well that as long as tasha is in jail i don't think Tariq can expose sacks for now but if sacks doesn't take time he's going to expose himself that will be doomed for Tariq because i think he wants to hold on to this sacks information to try to control Sachs and try to manipulate him and try to get some things that he cannot get on a regular basis out of Sachs. Now, Mary J. Black, who is uh, Monette, I think it's beautiful seeing Mary J. Black acting the way she acted. I think I like what she did. We are all yet to see more of her. But there's one thing I don't understand about Ezekiel. Why is the guy so important to monet and her family because she made mention that you are too valuable to this family my question is why is he so important to them and why do they have to tie him with Tariq in the same room why must he be Tariq's roommate i don't know it's like there is some kind of huge cartel that we are not even aware of yet it's like there is a gang that ezekiel is like a pivot of affairs not like he's in control of anything but he's so valuable that losing him will cause a lot but all the same i like the fact that uh she she she's in control of her family i think she's she's from the neighborhood so like she she has this energy over every activity if she says this it's done if she say hey stop you stop if you say this you this you could hear from the crowd even when she came out her first appearance i was like oh that's monet that's so, so it gives you this excitement that okay she's someone you don't need to play with first episode and we're seeing a dead body you can imagine the number of dead bodies that are going to come in this power book too i'm so excited i like i can't wait just like you and uh, one thing i noticed about this first episode is that and it's quite amazing how 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 these writers really communicate secretly without some of the audience knowing that, okay, this is what we are trying to do. But I think I fished this one out. The last appearance in court where Tariq sent message to his mom that she should tell the truth. She should mention whoever shot her father. She should just speak the truth because she wants him to come home. We all know that Tariq was trying to tell his mom that, mom, just commit me. I'm ready for it. I want to face it. You don't deserve it. Come home. But you realize when they were in the court and Tariq came in, Tasha's mood changed all of a sudden, especially when she saw sex. Okay, so at that moment, Tasha began to think about, okay, let me say something else and save my son because Charlie, I can't do this. I can't do this. So you realize that when she was, when she started speaking as if she was saying the truth, she was saying the thing as if, okay, the reason why she lied was that she was afraid if she tell the truth, she doesn't know what will happen to her family. At that moment, she was looking at Tariq and she was speaking while saying the thing. The, the writer created this impression that whatever she's saying, she's saying it to Tariq, not to the judge. And I really, really admire how the writer really created or composed that scene. It was really, really dope. If, if you don't get it on set, I don't think you'll get it again because it was something that she, she was like, She's talking to Tariq, but she's answering the judge. Uh, so she that was the reason why she even turned and looked at Tariq and was like, if I tell the truth, I don't know what will happen to my family. You understand? So I think uh, this Power Book 2 is going to come with a lot of creativity, a lot of um, excitement, and a lot of energy. But I still insist that Ghost is likely to be alive trust me i'm still convinced that ghost is not dead i'm still convinced that ghost is not dead and i don't know what these people are going to use to blow our mind because no funeral for ghost that's so disrespectful to him as a character that's so wrong for him like we the fans of ghost we 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 we, we so will not take 
that kind of like jando way of disposing a character no he's dead there should be a body let's bury our ghost and let's move on with the power book too we like it it's it's new it's, it's interesting and i think it has a lot to offer but please just clear our chest with whether ghost is still alive or not so that we move on with you but what they are doing trust me i have this percentage of truth that ghost is still alive well i don't know about you i don't know how well you've seen this episode uh i must say it's, it's it's now starting there's no need to conclude or jump into conclusion let me know how you you've seen or how you felt about this whole new power book 2 episode 1 leave your comment below and let me know if you also felt at the point that okay ghost is still in this movie just that he's not visible let me know i don't know if i'm the only one who felt that way but at the point i felt like james and patrick was still in this movie but he's just hiding somewhere and camera is not going there i felt that way so let me know your comments let me know your thoughts let me know whether this new season is going to be very interesting and just share your experiences with me and let's get interactive my name is nino welcome back to power review and see you in the next episode don't forget to subscribe like leave your comments below and let's get interactive let's see whether we can just be ahead of these writers let's see whether we can comfort ourselves okay see you all in the next review holla